So I think women, peace, and security is a different way of looking at things related to war that perhaps have been particularly male-dominated for thousands of years. Um, I, I think there are many different ways to go about problem solving, and I think that as women begin to have a more prominent role in the military, I think including the perspectives of the way women might go around things is very helpful because we've been ignoring half of our population in the world for thousands of years in regards to war. And so I, I think it's very important because I think that as more and more specialties in the military open up to women, you're just going to have more and more women. I don't know if we'll ever get to a 50-50 split in the military, but I think that the voice of women is important and will continue to grow in the foreseeable future. And I think it's just that, I think it's including the, the voice of mm -hmm. women. And um, I think we'll probably talk about some specific examples uh, from my uh, career that might help a little bit later. But I, I do think that it's pretty well understood, even by men, that women might choose different courses of action in problem solving, mm -hmm. uh, in ways of conflict, in ways of negotiation. And I think that it only enhances our ability to get to the best possible solution in the combat situations or in pre-combat situations uh, or peacetime situations um, by including the perspectives of women. We might not always go with those recommendations, but we want to know as many options as possible to try to solve problems in the best way. And I, th I think that's the reason why the, the, the importance of WPS in including women in decision making. Sure. I, I, I think that, I, so I was in the combat arms in the Army, mm -hmm. and you don't see a lot of women in the combat arms, although in the field artillery, which I served, sometimes they experimented with women. But I, my time goes back far enough where women, for the most part, were not in the field artillery. Uh, that has changed, and I do know that there are young officers uh, who are women who are in the field artillery now. But it's still a low percentage, uh, even though these combat armed specialties are open to women, women are not flocking in, which I think is good. We, we, they're, you know, in order to do combat arms kinds of things, you have to be able to do certain kinds of things. And I think the women who can do those kinds of things are stepping up, which is great. Um, perhaps the, the most eye-opening experience for me was in 2003 in Iraq when the whole show was being run by very traditional men uh, all the way down to basically the lowest level. And the issue of traffic control points came up, um, security checkpoints. This may even have been the genesis of WPS, I don't know. But the specific issue is, is a classic one that a lot of people familiar with this topic are aware of. If you are a man and you're in the Middle East and you're running a traffic control point and you take everybody out of a vehicle and you're going to search everybody for a contraband or bombs or whatever it is, and a man touches a Middle Eastern woman, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> you're, sure. you're, you're not enhancing the, you know, in, in Iraq, in the specific case, we're supposedly there to help the Iraqi people. Mm -hmm. Well, this is very upsetting to the woman, to the family. It's a bad example for the kids. It's inappropriate for the culture. And so what began happening was the integration of women on these traffic control points. And if there were no women, then searches of women were not allowed to take place, which of course was a problem because even, even that early in the war, we were having women that were suicide bombers. And so we needed to search women, but it's only appropriate for other women to search the women. And so that was you know, my earliest exposure to this idea that we have to begin thinking about different ways of achieving the mission still achieve the mission, we're just achieving it better with women doing it by not offending the people who are supposedly there to help. So that was probably the, the biggest example. And then the, other, the, the flip side of that is, again, back to the combat arms point, so few women in that. We had a, um, a, a meteorological technician who was a woman. At that, at that time in the field artillery, women could serve in the meteorological sections. And uh, she was literally the only woman on a base of about 300 men. I can't even imagine how isolating that feeling could be and how 
kind of wrong that was, if you will. And so, um, and I, I never talked to her about that, even though I was responsible for the operations. Um, it, there were layers of people. But all I said was, we have to make sure that this woman is protected in, in what we do. And then, you know, I didn't hear of anything, but I don't know when you're near the top of the flagpole, I don't know if you actually hear everything that's going on. Um, and perhaps a someone who would have thought better would have said, that's probably not a good idea. I realize we don't have a lot of meteorological technicians, but perhaps having her on a base where there are more women might have yes. been a more appropriate thing. I, I think including them. Including I, yeah, I, I think that uh, seeking women's opinion, seeking everybody's opinion is a good way, especially when you're a leader. Uh, you need to be um, asking all, all of your experts, all of your team members, and there should be women on all of your teams, and, and those perspectives should be included. We don't have to pay particular deference to the women's perspective in the same way that we shouldn't pay particular deference to the men's opinions, but we should be considering all of the opinions, because, and this is the reason for diversity in teams and organizations is because our diverse backgrounds bring different perspectives on problem solving and addressing issues and leaderships being able to um, consider all of the best options is, is the best way to get to the best solution.